Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillahirabbil alamin. Wassalatu wassalamu ala asyrafil anbiya wal mursalin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajmain. Amma ba'd. I'm making this video here. It will be the last reminder yeah, for all thesis defense participants that will join the thesis defense next week, yeah, starting on Monday, inshallah. And uh, there are several things that you guys need to do. Yeah? You guys need to uh, consider before you are going to join the thesis defense on uh, Monday. Yeah, first of all, uh, all the contenders of the thesis defense, you guys need to join the WhatsApp group first. Yeah, and then after this one, after this uh, video, I'm gonna ask one of the participant to invite all of the thesis defense contender, and then. You guys have to join the group that will join the uh, thesis defense on August. Yeah, that will be the first. And then you have to join the thesis defense group. Yeah, that will be the first. And then second one, uh, today, uh, it's a Friday. This will be the last day, the active day that you guys can contact your advisor and then also contact your examiners yeah and then you gonna tell them uh when that you're going to have the schedule for the thesis defense yeah and then what time exactly that the examiner will be available to uh join the thesis defense yeah uh even if we already set the schedule here at 1 p.m yeah and then that will be up to the examiner when that they will have the uh, valuable time to join the thesis defense with you guys yeah and then um, you have to make sure that today yeah, today all of the examiners and then also all of the advisor where it got your guys complete thesis yeah and then the second one it will be about your powerpoint presentations yeah today it will be the last day that you guys have to send your content thesis and then also your PowerPoint presentation to your advisor and then also to your thesis examiners. Yeah, that will be the second uh, that you guys need to know. And then the third one, the third one, uh, since several of the students, you guys haven't completed one last requirement about the letter of acceptance, yeah. And you guys need to contact me as soon as possible, as soon as uh, you guys watch this video. After watching this video, you got to uh, give the, uh, exact, uh, the exact date when that you guys will give me your letter of acceptance. Yeah? Because uh, that will be the last requirement that you guys need to fulfill. Yeah, before you are going to be eligible yeah, to join the thesis defense. Yeah? That will be the third and then the fourth one. The fourth one, it will be about the PowerPoint presentations. Yeah? If you guys already watch uh, the previous thesis defense, yeah, the previous thesis exam or a previous uh, proposal seminar, you guys should be aware of what kind of the uh, PowerPoint presentation that I need, yeah, especially for those that uh, will get the question from me. Yeah, so you guys need to compile, you guys need to create a PowerPoint presentations, consists only six uh, slides or seven slides maximum. Yeah. Uh, what what kind of the aspect, what kind of the element that you guys have to put on your six or seven slide of your PowerPoint presentation? First slide here, you guys need to put your complete title, yeah, the title of your thesis, and then also your uh, full name, and then the uh, student ID number, that will be the first slide. And then second slide, it will be about the first chapter, yeah, the first chapter of your thesis. And then you're going to consider on the first chapter, on the second slide, 
uh, when you guys create the PowerPoint, I need only the point. Yeah, I don't need a longer kind of note. I don't need the longer kind of sentences that uh, explaining of your first chapter. I need only the point. Yeah, the point that you are going to explain by yourself. Yeah, so the point that you are going to put on your second slide about the first chapter, and then you are the one giving the explanation, giving the elaboration in a comprehensive way. Yeah, that will be the second slide. And then on the third slide, on the third slide, you are going to put only all the relevant theories that you use to support your research. Yeah, one more time, only the most relevant theories that you collected, that you used to support your research. That will be the third slide. Yeah? So it will be about the uh, summary of your second chapter related with reviewing related literature. Yeah? And then on the fourth slide, it will be about your guys' third chapter. Yeah? Third chapter here it is about the research methodology. Yeah? Research methodology consists of uh, the complete kind of explanation, starting with uh, when did you conducted this research, what kind of method did you guys use, how did you guys collect the data, and how did you guys analyze the data. Yeah? So that will be on the uh, fourth slide yeah, for your PowerPoint presentations. One more time, I don't need a longer kind of sentences. I don't need a longer kind of uh, note. Yeah, make sure only the point that you put on your port slide. It consists of the third chapter for your classes. And then on the fifth slide, yeah, on the fifth slide, you guys need to yeah, need to mention, need to write down here your guys' finding, yeah, the finding of the research. Yeah, that will be chapter four, finding of the research. And then the finding of the research here, make it uh, simple. For example, if you try to compare, if you try to uh, explain about the influence, about the effectiveness of a certain kind of strategy method or approach. So you just put only the main finding. And then you are the one who will give the extra explanation, extra elaboration about your finding. Yeah, that will be on your <laughs> Uh, fifth slide, yeah, that will be on your fifth slide. And then uh, the last slide, sixth slide, yeah, on the sixth slide here, you guys need to put only the conclusions and then also suggestion based on your counted research, based on your finding for the research and then make it so here it is only two aspects. First, it will be about the conclusions. And then second one, it will be about the suggestion based on your finding of the research. Yeah. So it will be consist only six slides. Yeah. And then if you want to edit one more slide, that will be okay. One more slide, you can put your reference, that will be okay. Yeah. And that's uh, the main point that you guys need to put yeah, to all of your guys' PowerPoint presentations. Yeah, and then make sure here you already cover all the details that you need to explain while answering all the questions from uh, the examiners. Yeah, and then next one, next one, uh, especially for those that will have the thesis defense with me, you guys need to watch at least from five or six of uh, previous thesis defense. Yeah? Uh, why did I ask you guys to watch the previous thesis defense first? Because you guys need to learn, you guys need to uh, make a review first, uh, what kind of the question, what kind of common question, what kind of common uh, talks that I give to all of the previous thesis defense contender. Yeah, so uh, at least you will have your own description first, your basic uh, preparation yeah, based on the previous thesis defense. That will be a good way, a perfect way for you guys to prepare several kind of question, a common question that they ask to the students, and then also a kind of a task that I ask the student from the previous thesis defense. And then last one, last one here. Uh, 
when you guys join the Texas defense, when you guys join the Texas defense, you have to make sure that you have the best place, yeah, the best venue with the best internet connections, yeah, because uh, we have will have this Texas defense here in an online kind of Texas defense, so a strong kind of in internet connection it is a must for you guys yeah and then try to uh, make a trial first or try to test yeah try to uh, test your connection first before you're going to join the test it depends that will be better before you're going to join the real test it depends starting on monday i guess that's all my Last reminder for you guys, for all the contenders that will join the Texas defense starting on Monday. And then uh, for your information, for the August Texas defense, it consists of class of 2017, and then also class of 2016, and then class of 2015. Yeah, so we have three uh generation from our English department faculty of education Muhammadiyah university of jakarta and then let's hope all the contenders yeah 15 contenders will uh, prepare their best yeah, to join the Texas defense and then uh best of luck for you guys yeah and please don't let your advisor down and then make us proud yeah okay that's all what i can deliver for you guys thank you very much for watching and then the last wallahul muwafiq wal hadi la sabilu rasad assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh peace out